We are back at Velocity 2011, and I'm joined now by Maximiliano Furtman, author of Programming the Mobile Web, and we're here to talk a little bit about mobile browsers. Thanks so much for being with us. Oh, thank you for the Did invitation, Mike. Did I completely Mike. screw up your first name? No, it's, it's fine. It's okay. <laughs> you can call me Max. Don't Max. worry. All right, thanks. Or you can try to spell Maximiliano. Uh, yeah, well, maybe, maybe later. To you, what are the biggest obstacles in uh, developing for mobile browsers? Uh, I believe there are many yeah. obstacles. Uh, Starting with fragmentation. Fragmentation, I believe, is one of the biggest problems. Fragmentations in terms of hardware, browsers, compatibility, HTML5 compatibility. There's also one big problem, but it's the lack of official documentation mm. on most platforms. So it's like mobile web developers are uh, second class citizens mm -hmm. in, the, in the developer world, mobile developer world. So it's difficult to find information, so you need to, to find it yourself with testing. So that's the kind of problems I, I believe we, we now have sure. in the mobile web environment. Is there a best mobile browser right now? Um, is, is there such a thing? No, it depends on your point of view. I, I, I mean, for the user, it depends on the device. So maybe the browser that came with the device is the best one because for most of the users, non-geek users, sure. it's the only browser they are using. Right. But from a developer point of view, I should say that Safari on iOS is one of the, 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 the leader with the new technologies. Mm -hmm. But I can't talk about iOS 5 because it's still on the NDA. Yeah. But right now, if, if you take right now, the most complete browser from a developer's perspective it's the BlackBerry browser for the Playbook okay. because it's, it's the one including all, almost all of the HTML5 APIs. It also includes a Web Inspector remote so you can debug mm -hmm. web apps. So That's nice. Yes. So <laughs> Opera Mobile also has uh, yeah. that's, that's such a things, but I believe that the, the BlackBerry browser has Interesting. It's one of the best ones to test right now. Is there enough competition in the mobile browser um, market right now? There is too much competition. Really? It's, yeah. Right now, we I can tell you about 25 browsers. No kidding. Without counting <laughs> different versions. I, will, I won't ask you to go so, through them all, but yes. that's considerable. Yeah. So how do you it's make the decision to start developing? Um, I believe the best decision is to go by feature, not by browser. Because if you go by browser, you you get on a mistake that is only only care about iPhone, Android, and maybe BlackBerry, and the others you don't care about them. So it's better to go by feature. Interesting. So feature detection, I believe, it's one of the, right. the best things to do right now. What's your take on mobile emulators for development? Yeah. Can they can they be trusted? Uh, it depends on the emulator because you you have different type of emulator. For example, the iOS it's an iOS simulator. Mm. The simulator is not real, uh, the operating system and the real browser yeah. is just a simulation. So it's sure. like the real yeah. device, but it's not the real device. You have other <coughs> emulators that are pretty near to the, pretty close to the, to the real device, but it should be okay for the first testing, for usability, for, for checking maybe different screen sizes, but they are not good for performance testing. Right. They are, they are very, distance from the real device. Mm. So, and right now you have at least 150 emulators to download. <laughs> I have created a list on my blog. <laughs> so you, you, you have a lot of links God. to download. They are free. Sure, so I would hope so, but right. The thing is you can use it because they are free, so you, need, you don't need to, to buy a lot of devices. Yeah. So for the first testing, they are great, but you, need, you still need the real device or at least a virtual lab with real devices yeah. for, for the final testing. How do developers account for the browsers within apps? The browser within apps, maybe like, like a hybrid application. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. It's a problem because most people believe that they, they, it's the browser in your app, but it's not right, really. It's not, it's, no, it's, it's, it's not the full feature. One, no, right? no. There are some differences. Yeah. So the engine is the same. The engine is the same, but for, for example, in iOS 4.3, Safari, uh, it has a new JavaScript engine called Nitro. That this Nitro engine is only available on Safari, not in UI WebView. 
So if you are doing some kind of HTML5 inside yeah. a native app, you will not get this, this new engine. Oh. And if I take, for example, Symbian, yeah. on Symbian, the browser doesn't have HTML5. But if you use the web control inside a native app, okay. you have HTML5. Wow. So there, there are differences. It's yeah. not really the same. You need a scorecard yes. just to keep track of all that stuff. So uh, last question I had for you. It's a little bit of a loaded question, but when do you think that web app functionality will be on par with native app functionality? Okay. Um, it's complicated because uh, we can't say what, when things will happen sure. because this happens so fast, but I'm pretty sure in one or two years we are, we are having 3D with WebGL. We are going to, to have device APIs like the one in the WAC standard or maybe the W3C uh, device API standard. So, but from a user's point of view, I don't believe the typical user cares about it. So the user sure. wants to open Facebook and yep. he, he only cares about how to get there. So the, I, don't, I don't believe that every people wants to type the URL, so maybe home screen icons will, will help to, to that, or maybe the better bookmark systems. Sure. But I don't believe people care about native versus web. Right. The user cares about how to get to the service he wants sure. to use. Sure. Well, thanks so much for being with us. No, really thank you. Thank you, Mike. Thank you.